Hi guys, it's Asante, and today's video is going to be a continuation of my series on how to get into Harvard. The way I see it, there are things you can do, things you can be, there's the application itself, and then there's my experience that maybe you can learn something from. This video is going to be about things you can be. Um, just some observations that I've made on things that Harvard students tend to have in common. Yes, after careful consideration and numerous calculations, I've determined the common denominator of Harvard students very scientific. And just to tell you a bit about my perspective, I'm a current Harvard student, I'm a senior at the college. So let's get started. Harvard students are hardworking and self-starting. They don't need anyone else to push them because they push themselves. Hey, they use the resources that they have to be the best that they can be. They want to do well and make things that are finished and polished. A lot of us are perfectionists. That was perfectionists. Oh my gosh, that sounded terrible. Perfectionists. And it's so bad. Perfectionist. It may seem like some people don't have to work as hard to do good work, but usually that means that person is working smart. They're working very efficiently, they're doing what works for them, and so they don't have to work long. But, you know, working smart is still a challenge, so they're still hard working. And being self-starting means that you're not gonna wait for someone to give you the information, you're gonna go out and seek it yourself. Hopefully you're the kind of person who will actively seek out opportunities and ask the questions that you need answers to. Honestly, a lot of what you're going to need for your classes is not taught in the classroom. So you're going to want to be the kind of person who can go out and do an internet search, do a library search, and get the information that you're going to need without people spoon feeding it to you. Teach yourself what you need to know. Harvard students are goal oriented and future forward. They think beyond getting out of school at the end of the day. They think beyond high school, beyond their grades, beyond even getting into a good college. They have aspirations and life goals, even if they're not specific. Harvard students are mindful of self-improvement. They're actively thinking about how to best use their talents to better the world and how to be the best versions of themselves, not just as students, but as people. Now that doesn't necessarily mean reading self-help books. But it does mean that you are eager to learn and learn about how to better walk through the world. It means if there's a world leader or renowned artist coming to give a speech, you're going to want to go because you value the insights and wisdom that you could gain from learning about that person's experience. And lastly, Harvard students are game changers, not copycats. Not copycats. Don't mold yourself into somebody else. Don't compare yourself against someone else's resume or try to match somebody else's achievements. Find your passions, be your own person, and forge your own path. And those are my common denominators of Harvard students. If you liked this video or found it helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you want to hear next in the comments. And I will see you next time. <laughs>